What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another hockey card video. Today we're going to be opening up this big mystery box. It is the Mega Mystery Power Box from MJ Holdings. You can find these at Walmart for $40. Now I've opened up their products in the past, their tins, their other mystery boxes, and I do love them. But this is the most expensive one that I've seen, but also the biggest box that I've seen that they have produced. So this one here, as always with MJ Holdings, you can always look for the 2015-16 Series 1 packs. Normally it is a uh, Series 2 if you do get the 15-16, but they do promote that as well as a possibility of receiving those in these boxes. This box here contains six factory sealed packs, one fat pack, one bonus item, and one mystery item. That mystery item could include a sealed 24 count box, blaster boxes, and graded cards, and more. Obviously, we do have Matthew's plush right here, but based on the size of this box, the weight, I can almost guarantee there's no blaster box in this, let alone a 24 count box. And we're still gonna open it up though, but for $40, hopefully the value is there. This is the first time I'm opening this up. There was other ones there, but normally these sell out very quickly at Walmart. So if you guys want me to pick one up, either for a giveaway on the channel or to open up more, let me know down below. I'm just gonna open this up here and see, hopefully, what is inside. And honestly, not as much as I thought there was going to be. I don't even think there's six sealed packs, which it does say on the box here. It doesn't look like there's six. This is all that is inside and is such a large box that it's just not needed. I get if there's the big items in it, but when it's not, it's a lot of empty space for that. But as always, we're gonna be opening these up, starting with the score pack. At least we only have one in this box. A lot of the ones in the past I've opened, they get like two or three score packs, and I just absolutely hate score. So we're gonna see what is in here, but I just, I don't like anything from score. So base, base, champions one, base, base, uh, highlights for Marion Hossa, and the rest is base. That was the quickest uh, pack open I think I've done on the channel. The next uh, sealed pack is a 2020-21 uh, extended series. So we're going to open this up here. I haven't touched too much of the extended series. So hopefully we can get something cool out of this. So, Guest of Sun. Let it focus if it will. Base, base, base. Oh, that's pretty cool. So we do have a Tim Stutzel Dazzlers. This is the orange Dazzlers. And I don't have this one in my personal collection. If I had to guess, it's probably $5 to $10, as I see more of the top players around that part. Uh, but I also don't know. And that's going to be staying in my personal collection anyways. And the rest is all base. Next up, we do have another 2020-21 extended series. So at least it's more recent years. Uh, and not a lot of the 2017-18 ones that I've received in other mystery packs or mystery boxes from MJ Holding. Base, 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 base. Uh, so we have a full base pack here, which is not my favorite. We do have a third 2020-21 extended series. Hopefully this one's not a base pack. Base, base, there is something shiny there. We have an Alexander Romanov uh, rookie class. Now, obviously, that's not a real autograph right there. That is a printed one, but still, that is a pretty cool card that I don't have in my collection. And the rest are all base. Next up, we do have a 21-22 Series 2 pack. I haven't opened up too much of that on my channel. I am looking for the Byfield... Uh, Young Guns in this, but hopefully we can at least get something good. If you guys want to see me open up more of that on the channel, I will. I just haven't opened up too much recently. Base, base, base. Ooh, that's pretty cool. We have a Timu Celine uh, SD Canvas. I believe these are valued around $10 for the Legends for the Canvas, so that's actually really cool. And the rest are all base. Uh, next up, we do have the Fat Pack. So looking at it, one, two, three, four, five. We only had five sealed packs and on the box it says you will get six. So that kind of sucks. 
We do have a fat pack next. Um, and the fat pack, 26 cards inside. And most of the time it's base. I've opened up these on the channel before just to complete my base sets. But this here, hopefully we're looking for something decent inside. And not just be a bunch of low-end base, which obviously most of them are base. I do see something shiny there. I'll leave that to the end. Checklist and the rest are all base. And the card that we did get, that's not the base card, is a Rookie Gems for Pod Colzin. I probably butchered that, but yeah, I haven't gotten any Black Diamond on the channel before, so that's cool that it that is included in that. Next up, we do have the Mystery Items and uh, two Graded Cards as well, so that's pretty cool. So up first is this Jumbo Young Guns for Kale Makar. That's actually a really great card. I obviously don't have his Young Guns in my collection, let alone a Jumbo, so that's really cool to add to my collection. I believe, looking these up in the past, they range from $75 to $100 for this if it's in good condition. That's for the Jumbo. But this one here, you can tell, I don't know if you guys can tell on camera, but there is a slight bend right here. I'm going to just bring it up here. You can see this line in it. It looks like something was drawn on it. Uh, obviously, the corners are not good. So if I had to put a value on this, it definitely would be probably 30 to $40 if I had to guess, which is about what I paid for the whole box. So that's cool. I'll probably keep it in my collection, but if I were to ever sell it, that'd probably be what it'd be around. Because it still is legible. It's just... You can see the crease right here, and the corners are not the greatest, and right here. That is just the worst spots, but as something to add to my collection and something to get out of this box is really cool. It would have been better if they had the inserts that you get in the tins or any of the boxes that include these, the little plastic insert to hold it and keep it in good condition while it's in the box, because this was just bouncing around inside. And then we do have two sealed uh, graded cards. Not really the greatest. Uh, it is Jake Neighbors Rookie uh, from the Rookie Star set. So it's the Rookie set set from 2021-22, which I always get the complete box anyways. So even though it's graded out of 10, not really much value there. It's It was part of a set, so on its own, not really worth much. And the other graded card, ironically, is the same exact jake neighbors rookie graded 10 out of 10 so i don't really obviously think that this is a good company but just looking you hear that the card bounces around inside so i honestly just do not trust that at all but comment down below what you guys think do you think even with the other cards with the possibility of this maybe getting 30 dollars this card $10, I don't know the rest of the value, but just for those alone, was this box worth $40? Let me know down in the comments below, and I do have a second box to unbox in the future that hopefully will have some better stuff in it. If you guys want to see me get more of these boxes, either to unbox on the channel or possible future giveaways, let me know soon because Walmart usually sells out of these pretty quick. I just happened to be there whenever they came in, and that's why I picked up a few. So, if you guys enjoyed this video, I'll see you guys in the next one. Please take care. Peace.